Hey, welcome to iFlip for Math MathCast, Lesson 12-2, Using Metric Units of Length. I'm Mrs. Gooding, and I don't know who wrote our quote, but it's King Henry died, unfortunately, drinking chocolate milk. Now, if you tell that to Mr. Coder, he's probably going to deny that that's true, but uh, that is an acronym to help you remember your metric units. So remember that, King Henry died, unfortunately, drinking chocolate milk, and there's a picture of King Henry. Our learning goal is to use King Henry to convert metric units of length. So these are some kind of metric facts that you need to be very familiar with. So uh, you're going to want to make sure that you take special note of these. There are 1,000 millimeters in a meter. The meter is your base unit. Everything is going to end in the word meter in length. and um, that's going to be what you're going to relate all of the units around it to. So meters right smack in the middle. Milla actually means thousand. So you're going to want to, don't get that confused with million. It doesn't mean million. You have to be smarter than the average fifth grader. Milla means thousand. There are 100 centimeters in a meter. And you can remember that because centa does mean 100. A centipede has 100 legs. A century has 100 years. A centurion is somebody who is in charge of 100 soldiers. So think, see if you can think of some more words that begin with cent, C-E-N-T, besides a penny, which is actually 100th of a dollar. So um, we're talking about fractions here with milla and centa. There are 1,000 meters in a kilometer. So kilo means 1,000, but it's the other end. And then use the King Henry strategy to convert metric units of length. So that's your King Henry died, unfortunately, drinking chocolate milk. So here is our vocabulary, a meter. A meter is the metric unit of length. So remember, everything's going to end in the word meter. It is about the width of a door. So if you hold your arms out, it's just probably a little longer, maybe your elbow to the end of your finger. All, um, oh, let's go on to centimeter then. So a meter would be one, that's your base unit. And then a centimeter is if you divided that meter into 100 parts, little teeny tiny parts, a centimeter is one of those parts. It's one one hundredth. So if you can remember that centimeter means hundred, then you can remember that if you divide a meter into 100 parts, it's one of those little tiny parts. It's about the width of a paper clip, not the length, not the long ways. Look at it this way, the width. A millimeter, again, means one one thousandth. So if you took that meter and you divided it into 1,000 parts, it's one of those little teeny tiny parts. It's about the thickness of a dime. So you can see that picture. It's not the width of a dime. It's the thickness of a dime. So if you turn it sideways and you can see it up against that ruler, it actually, they took that centimeter between six and seven is one centimeter. And that dime is um, just one little tiny part of 10 parts, which makes sense because a mil there are 10 millimeters in one centimeter. And you can see those on marks on the ruler. A kilometer or kilometer means 1,000, but it's not a fraction. It's 1,000 meters. And a kilometer or a kilometer, it's okay to say it either way, is about the length of four city blocks. So let's go back. I don't know how to go back. Oh, here we go. Okay. So here is our example. So remember, King Henry died, unfortunately, drinking chocolate milk. And our base unit is the meter. Now, the reason we have the word unit in there instead of meter is that in the metric system, whether we're doing capacity or weight or length, they all can be used with King Henry. So we can insert whichever ending term that we need, whichever suffix. So in this case, we're doing length, so we put meter where the unit is, but we could put meters, liters, or grams, depending on what we're measuring. So you can see the K in king stands for kilo. The H in Henry stands for hecto. The D in died stands for deca. The U in unfortunately, I put it in commas around it so you can see that's the base unit, is going to be our meter. And then the D in drinking is deci. Notice everything to the right of the meter or the unit has a soft C sound, deci and centi. Centi is that 100th that we were talking about.
And then to the right of that, the M in milk stands for Millie. If you look back at that deca, which is on the hard K sound, kilo and deca both have a hard K sound. Sometimes people spell deca D-E-C-A, that's okay. But what you need to know is that they both have the hard K sound, regardless of how you spell them. Let's do some examples. So I wanted to show exactly how I write it down. Every time I'm working one of these problems or if I have a page of homework, I always write this at the top. And I start with my saying, King Henry died, unfortunately, drinking chocolate milk. You don't have to put those commas in there, but I wanted to make sure that you see that this is our unit. This is where we're gonna put our meter, okay? So I wanted you to also see the abbreviations because you don't have to write the word kilometer or hectometer or decameter or meter or decimeter or centimeter or millimeter out because they have abbreviations and you can see the acronym right down the side, King Henry died, there's my ugly, or unfortunately, excuse me, drinking chocolate milk. And I wanna point something out. They all end in M except for meter, which is the M itself, and all of these, this stands for meter. The only one that is different is this one, the decameter, and because there's already a DM for decimeter, they abbreviate this one differently, and it's spelled D-A-M, like the kind of dam that holds water back. So, um, so remember that, because if you put DM, then it means decimeter, and if you put D-A-M, it means decameter. So let's go ahead and try this. This is exactly what you do. So you happen to have a decimal in this and we're always moving our decimal, kind of like we did when we were multiplying, except it's a little bit different. So we come up here and we're starting with meters. This is what we know and we're going to what we don't know. So we start at the meter point and that's right here, right on this letter that represents the meter and we're going to count until we get to the letter that represents centimeters because that's what we have over here. So I'm gonna start at meter and I don't count until I've jumped somewhere, just like in the leapfrog and multiplication. One, two. So in this case, I moved two places and I'm gonna put an arrow to the right, otherwise I might make a mistake. So I'm gonna come down here to my decimal and I'm gonna take that decimal and now instead of pointing right on top of the letters, I'm going to jump the numbers just like we leapfrog. So I'm gonna move it two places to the right. One, two. So this is where it is now, it's no longer here. And so what I have left is 456. Now remember, when a decimal's at the end of a number, I don't have to put it. So I can just leave it 456 centimeters. Now I wanna show you one that moves in the other direction. If we start out with 53,000 millimeters equals how many kilometers? Hmm, that may be a big jump. Make sure you write these abbreviations down next to the words somewhere in your journal so that you don't forget what each of those stands for. Let's see, we're gonna start at millimeters because that's what we know. So we'll come to the M for millimeters milla, really, and we're gonna jump until we get to kilometers, which starts with the K. So we're gonna jump one, two, three, four, five, six places, and this one we went six places to the left. Probably shouldn't write that there. Let's write it up here. We went six places to the left. So in this number right here, remember if you don't see a decimal in a number, it's always at the end. We're gonna jump six places now in between those numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because remember, if there's not a number there, you make a little egg cup and you have to fill it with something and let's fill it with a zero. And then because a decimal says and, let's be mathematically, grammatically correct and always put a zero to the left of it. We need a digit on the left, but we don't want it to be a digit of value. So our new answer is written this way. Now, do I have to write these zeros? No, because they're at the end of a decimal number and they don't mean anything. So I can just leave my answer 
53 thousandths. Remember, decimal tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So it ends in the thousandths place. It's 53 thousandths. Let's go try some practice problems. We're going to work through these kind of quickly. So remember, your job is to know when you need to push pause and rewind and watch it again or wait and take a little bit longer. So number one, 65 millimeters equals how many centimeters? Remember to use King Henry and move your decimal accordingly. Go ahead and pause it, look back at your notes, finish it, and push play when you're ready. Did you write six and five tenths centimeters? Let's see how we did that. So we start with what we know, millimeters, here's the milla, and we travel to centimeters. One jump to the left. Let's write that here. One jump to the left in the direction of the arrow. So here's where our decimal is when we don't see a decimal. And we jump one jump to the left. So our decimal is now six and five tenths. Number two, 473 kilometers equals how many meters? Pause it and push play when you're ready. Did you write 473,000 meters? Let's see how we did that one. So we start with what we know, kilometers. We know how many kilometers we have, and we're going to jump to meters. So we jump one, two, three to the right. And so we can see here, let's rewrite this number underneath so we have room to work. Here would be where our decimal is when we don't see one. And we don't have any numbers, so we're going to have to make little egg cups. One, two, three to the right. Now our decimal's not here. Fill those with zeros. We don't need that decimal at the end, actually. But we do need a comma. So we have 473,000 meters. It's pretty easy, huh? Number three, 72,542 and 2 tenths centimeters equals how many kilometers? Pause it and push play when you're ready. Did you write, ah, uh, look at this crazy number. Remember to read it like a regular number. 725,422 millionths. The reason we say that millionths at the end is that that second two ends in the millionths place. Remember? Let's count as we go along. Decimal tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millionths. That's where that second two is. So 725,422 millionths. This is great practice to remind us how to read our decimals. Let's see how we did that one. So we start with what we know. We know what centimeters is. We know how many centimeters we have. So there's our C, and we're going to jump until we get to the K for kilometers or kilometers. One, two, three, four, five. It's five to the left. So we can move our decimal five places to the left. One, two, three, four, five. So to make it correct, we're going to put a zero in front of that decimal because the decimal says and. Seven hundred twenty-five thousand four hundred twenty-two millionths. Our favorite part, practicing word problems. King Henry needs more chocolate milk. The closest dairy is four and three-tenths kilometers away. How many centimeters will King Henry have to travel to get his chocolate milk? Go ahead, pause, and push play when you figure that out. Did you write 430,000 centimeters? Let's see how we did that one. So start with what you know. We know how many kilometers we have. So starting at the K for kilometers, we count one, two, three, four, five to centimeters. So five to the right, or five in the direction that you moved. Make sure you don't count the letter you started on. You have to take a full jump before you can count. So we're going to rewrite this underneath because we've got a lot of jumping to do. So we'll put our little pencil on the decimal and jump five places to the right. One, two, three, four, five. 
and fill all those empty little egg cups with zeros. And now we have one, two, three, four zeros. We don't have to put that decimal, it's at the end. 430,000 centimeters. It's time to challenge yourself. There are even more metric prefixes that we use all of the time. Look up these prefixes, mega, micro, tera, giga, and nano, and place them on the King Henry chart where they belong according to their size. Then come up with a new acronym or saying to describe the new chart. Be creative, come up with something completely new or add to the King Henry saying. Come back tomorrow ready to check your answers and share your new acronym or saying. Finishing up, there's King Henry and we saw some pictures of a few of his six wives too. Review your learning goals. Have you mastered all of them? Are you at a level one, two, or three in your learning? Make sure you write that down in your journal. Write down any questions if you were at a level one or a level two. Cool King Henry, you've completed lesson 12-2 using metric units of length. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.